As an Avid DeFi user, there's one thing that stands out to me from the last cycle is trying to purchase or transact with crypto. And a lot of my transactions ended up being on Uniswap. I, I dealt with a lot of it, you know, ERC-20 tokens. And I can tell you guys from firsthand experience that some of the things that I found difficulty with was Uniswap. Now, Uniswap is known to be, um, you know, the main you the main use case sorry not the main use case but the main swap in DeFi. it's it's used widely amongst a lot of different projects and chains and things like that and uniswap has been standing out as one of the most go-to DeFi swaps all right so let's take a look at this here today so what i noticed when looking at the charts today i i filtered by 24 hours and i noticed uniswap stood out at 15 percent well the rest of the crypto market was either in the red or barely in the green. So I thought, you know, what is going on here? So I went over to take a look and see what's going on. And this is what I found. Uniswap announces its own layer two network, Unichain. This is, is exciting, guys. And please stick with me to the end because I'm going to explain to you why I think that this is a great idea from Uniswap. All right, so Uniswap has announced the launch of the Unichain. This is their layer two network aimed at optimizing decentralized finance or the DeFi ecosystem. So after years of developing and scaling DeFi products, Uniswap developers have identified key areas that need improvement, I agree with this, to continue advancing Ethereum's scaling roadmap. You know, even though Ethereum costs a ton to transact on, gas fees, is, I've paid hundreds of dollars in gas fees um, last cycle, uh, sometimes even just for one transaction, it's absolutely insane. But, you know, it the cost of transacting outweighs, like, my my profits outweighed the transaction costs is what I'm trying to say. Um, a lot of times when I did place those transactions, I knew what I was doing and I was still making a profit. So I was OK with that. But there was a lot of times when I wanted to take profits and gas fees were so ridiculously high that it wasn't worth it. And that makes a problem. So they're seeking to address these challenges by offering low cost, fast solution capable of improving liquidity ac across multiple blockchains. Efficiency in DeFi is essential, and Unichain is designed to significantly reduce transaction costs. I am so on board with this. Costs are expected to decrease by approximately 95% compared to Ethereum's Layer 1 network. This is encouraging greater participation in DeFi, and it also supports a decentralized mission that's fundamental to how DeFi works. So this is going to improve transaction speed a ton as well. With one second block times and the introduction of 250 millisecond sub blocks, the network promises to deliver near instant user experiences. That's another issue. Any of you guys know you're transacting on Ethereum. It's probably about 20, 25 minutes before your transaction actually gets settled. Um, so that could be an issue as well. But by integrating with Optimism Superchain, the new network will enable communication between various layer two chains, especially important at a time when DeFi ecosystem is diversifying with multiple networks. We're seeing more and more crypto networks coming out of the woodworks using, you know, uh, they might be using Ethereum, they might be using, you know, other chains, and, uh, you know, they could be, you know, layer twos, we have a, a lot of different roll-ups. Um, so this is leading to fragmentation and liquidity and poor user experiences. So this is their solution for this. They are opening uh, the Unichain testnet and the launch of mainnet scheduled for later this year. This is really exciting. I'm really excited for this because, like I said, Uniswap uh, presents a ton of different problems. And it's not something that they can really um, fix without doing something like this. With Unichain, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier. I am definitely for um, lowering transaction fees, lowering you know gas fees and things like that. So hopefully this will take care of some of those issues that we are facing, making things more accessible and more you know cost efficient. So that's what I got for you guys in this video. This is preliminary. This is something that we have just found out. It's breaking news, basically, so to speak. <clears throat> so you know we don't have all the ins and outs just yet but we will uh, definitely get more information as the days roll on. That's what I got for you guys in this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, like the video, comment down below. Do you, what has your experience been like with Uniswap? Has it been similar to mine? And follow me on X, if, depending on where you're watching this. But that's what I got for you. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.